Hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Portal 2. In the last episode we went through a couple more test chambers and found out that Wheatley has a surprise for us, which is probably death, and, and we're probably gonna die. But it's a, sci a death for science and that is worth it, I, I think. I don't know, I'm not a scientist. I don't want to be a scientist, I want to be a computer programmer engineer. I don't want to be a computer programmer, I want to go into computer science, which I guess is science. I, I want to be an engineer. Anyways... <laughs> Anyways, let's get back for the gameplay. You didn't come for my story, you came for the games. I don't even know the word. I don't know the meaning of the word subtle. Subtle. Subtly. Ah! Sorry, sorry, my fault. Bunch of fingers. Either way, I get the impression he's about to kill us. Did you just splooch? Ah! Anyways, uh, bouncy gel, turrets, gravity, and I don't know what that is still. Is that a button? Okay. Alright. He's trying to kill me! Alright, here we go. Only three more chambers to your big surprise. <laughs> three more chambers? Dude, I don't know how smart you think I am. But I am not, I'm definitely not three chambers smart, okay. Oops. What? Oh. Reverse gravity. All right. And it's blue. Okay. Jesus! Oh, ho ho. Tricking me, little guys. All right. These guys, though. What am I going to do with these guys? Well, I say first things first. I want to get to that button over there. So, how would we go about doing that? Uh... I've been staring at nothing. Okay, uh... I... I can... What I can do... Ah! Is, uh, launch myself off the edge. That's a good first step, I think. You know, you don't understand life until you died. That's not a saying. Oh, I have poop in my brain. All right, I can just use the magic of portals to get myself over there. Good, I like it. I like it when people think I'm an idiot. Okay, here we go. Bouncy gel. Mm-hmm. The bounciest of all the gels. Oh. Uh... Gravity. Gravity. Gravity, yes. Gravity will carry the blue gel over there. More! What if I need it? Oh. Where do I want that gel to go? Uh, 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 drop it! I think I might need to get back. Um. I can't. I can't get back. What if I drop it, like, right here? Oh, now I, I, I probably... Probably, I can probably bounce up into this now. Okay. Okay. Get me down. So what do I want with that gel? What, what do I want to do with it? Uh... Do I want to... Dump it on those guys? Maybe, maybe. Okay, it's my best, my best bet, because... As I said, I'm, I'm not... I'm not too smart. Okay, so what I think the game wants me to do is I think it wants me to carry the gel, but it wants me to go ahead of it. Okay. So that I can kind of, because you see when it hits the wall, it splatters, so it becomes useless to me. So I think what the game wants me to do is it wants me to kind of juggle it back and forth and put an orange portal over there. Oh. Ah, I will be back. Okay, okay, Lauren, come on, think. Yes, okay, you want it to go back that way, up into the blue one, and then... I guess, once it's all through... It's not all of it, but fuck it! Alright, and then- Oh, 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 god, no, 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 no! Uh, some of it was burnt up! 
I guess when it floats over it, I want to drop it on them? Like that, maybe? Oh! Exactly like that! Oh, yay! Oh, I'm smart! Okay, what's this do? Oh, it opens a doodad! Okay, okay, doodad, what do you want me to do now? Will you carry me all the way over there? No. No, you will not. What do, doodad? I obviously need to get a lot of height to launch over there. <sighs> Can I get up there? Yeah, catch me. Take me home. Can I, like... Oh. That... Oh. I get it. Oh my god. And then I And then oh, There you go. I was talking and talking. How do I get more height? How do I get more height? Oh, there's literally a fucking gravity field. They could take me this thing. Okay. A dead body. Okay. Okay, uh, here we go. This is definitely gonna go longer because I spent a good amount of time on that room, so here we go. Alright, sorry about that. That was- somebody was on my- at my door. Anyways. Yeah, I hope I edited that out. Edit that out! <laughs> it's behind the scenes. What is this situation? I'll bet you're both dying to know what your big surprise is. Well, only two more chambers. Wheatley, I'm stupid. I'm dumb. Break us out of here in the next Just play along. Oh, okay, that's good, because I literally don't have the brain smarts to do this. Okay, that's a lot of that's a lot of stuff going on there. Alright, where are the lights? Hmm. Okay, that turret seems to be having a good old fun time. Bouncy goo? Oh. A bouncy thing? Well, let's... Surprise! Oh, what the We're fuck? What the fuck? Hmm. Alright, you got- you got me! What? You did kill me. Fair. Hi. Oh! Well, the part where he kills us. The part where he kills us? Oh! I kill you. Had a bit of a brainwave. There I was, smashing some steel plates together, and I thought to myself, yeah, it's deadly. Boss missing. Boss missing. Part where he kills me. The no, part no, where no, he no, kills no, me. Don't do that. Don't stand right here. Stand. Stop machine. Stop machine. Stop machine. Ha uh, ha. Uh, can I? Oh my god! Oh my god! The part where he get- uh, part where I get the fuck out of- Goodbye! 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 Open the door, GLaDOS! That is what somebody else said to me a couple months ago. Oh, now she's a potato. Yeah, I liked it. When you were good and witty. I don't know, you're trying to kill me! What is the- what is the deal with this? What? Okay, I trust this technology. Oh, uh, well, that's embarrassing. Alright, let's try that again, shall we? Can't help but notice Land somewhere, thank you. Back. Nope. Disappointing. I'm out. Oh, Hi, little Frank and Dirt. Yes! Save me your face! I got armor! Fine. Let the games begin. Oh my god, that's- that scared me! I got startled! I got spooked! 
Wow, that that got me. I didn't see it coming. I was like, oh, a little dude, and then he just got kathwacked into non-existence. Can I like? Hmm. I don't think my puny jump's gonna make that. Ah. Uh, all right, there must be something else I can do. That. Oh. Uh, eh. That's still pretty iffy. Uh. How about we put it like higher up? Can I like Habuski? Oh, I I overshot it. Oh, this is embarrassing. All right, this better be the finale because I I'm done with, with the, the embarrassing myself. Days. My lack of intelligence. Uh, begin. Indeed, let them begin. There we go. Got it. All right, here we go. Got it. That mm, that's embarrassing. Okay, we must be towards the end, so I'm probably just gonna keep on going. I don't know. It's already been 20 minutes, but it's probably just me goofing around. So, we'll we'll see. Oh, we'll see. Sorry, hit the mouse. What do you got? What's next? Oh Jesus. Uh Okay, yes, it's a trap, but it's the only way through. Let's just do it. Um I I guess, sure. Ha! Death trap. Jesus. Uh Are they killing you? They are killing you, aren't they? Silently no. killing you, probably. If I had to guess. Um, perhaps the turrets have found a way to use garrots. Uh huh. The, the extremely quiet killing that I'm hearing. If you're Thanks, dying, dudes. But not dead. Oh. Stop. Ha! Was that your oh. bullet? Riddle bullet. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Well, no matter, because I'm still holding all the cards. And guess what? Okay. They're all full houses. Never actually played cards, meaning to learn. Oh, okay. Anyway, new all turrets, right. not defective. Ace of fours, the best hand. Ace of fours. I would imagine. The ace of fours, yep. That is, that's the winning hand every time. Is the ace of fours. Well, why don't we just... Carry them. Can I carry them? All right. It appears that I can carry them. All right. Bye. Nice. Ew, what is that? Is that poopy? Yeah. Gross. All right, continuing onward. All right, not continuing onward. Uh, oh, carry me through here, please. Okay. Uh, carry me through here, please. Uh, there we go. Sweet. Oh, I see. Clever. Very clever. And Thank you. Foolish. Spinny blade wall. I hear that here. No. Well. <laughs> good. Finally. Uh huh. This is worthy of my vast intellect. All right. Sure. Um. Well, excuse me. Oh. Hi. All right. Well, this seems pretty self-explanatory. Just carry Holmes me right over there. Versus Moriarty. Holmes versus Moriarty. Ha ha ha! Oh, I was really hoping it wouldn't it wouldn't do that. Oh, I see. Stay still, please. Shit. Shit. Oh, Jesus. Shit. Oh, you, okay, here we go. Wow. Okay, I was in a tizzy right there. Down here. Where'd I'm in come back, come back. I'm in the butthole of the facility. Oh, 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 it's a big old mess over here. Right 
No. Oh, oh, did it kill you? That would be amazing if it killed you. I wouldn't worry about it. It's probably Hello? not important. Oh, 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 oh. yes, all right. No, just had a brainwave. I'll be okay. back. You're still alive. I'm gonna okay. Be back. Don't die until I get back. All right, you go with your brainwave. Holy crap! Holy crapoli! That's a whole lot of turrets! Whatever am I going to do in this situation? Holy n that's nuts! Can I get in here? Hi guys! Okay. Well, what if I shot this guy over there? Like that. Oh, I'm dead. Can I just book it? Whoa! That's not gonna happen. Oh. It would be better if I wasn't stupid. Alright, button, what do you do? Goo. Okay. Uh. Okay, well, let's put the goo. Over there. Get them! Yes, get them, goo! Get them! Yes, kill them all! Yes! Yeah! Huzzah! Uh, okay, there's a faith plate that I can get through. Which should take me back. Woohoo! All right, cool. Mass murder, that's fine. That's my song. All right, here we go. I'm in a really weird, loopy mood right now. I don't know what's going on. All right, okay, we're gonna continue. Um, I really feel like we're coming up on the finale, so I'm just gonna keep on recording. Uh, maybe I'll break them up if the episodes are too long, but we'll we'll see. There's a big old red button over here. Oh. I can portal that. Um, okay, no goo. Eh. Waiting. Oh. What are those? I want them. Explode all over here, please. Oh, here, here, we want the tube to explode. Okay, go. Bombs. Alright, alright. If this episode does get too long, I might cut it up. I might just leave it as the finale. Who knows? Finale is usually longer, right? I'm making this up as I go. Anyone who thought I was a professional YouTuber? Oh no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh. See? Oh no. Alright. Um. Well, let's go ahead and do this situation. And, uh, out we go. Alright. I don't like putting up like 45 minute long videos, I've done it for some finales, and it's just such a long episode, I know a lot of people don't have enough time to watch that kind of episode, so... Just kind of try to make this up as I go, which is, uh, what I do all the time, so... Conveyor belt. Can't get over that small breach. Okay. Well, no matter. There you are. Great. Let's get rid of this oh, 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 oh! Wowza. To talk to you for a moment, if I may. Uh, of course. To be honest, the death traps have been a bit of a failure so far for both of us. I think you'll agree. And you are getting very close to my lair. Yes. Lair. It's weird in that first time I said it out loud. It sounds a bit, it sounds a bit ridiculous, really. But uh, I can assure you, it is one. It is a proper lair, deadly lair. Okay. And uh, I just wanted to give you the chance to kill yourself now before you get to the lair. Uh, you can just jump into that masher, just there. Uh, less a death trap, more a death option for you. Sounds crazy, I oh, know, but hear me out, hear me out. Once you get to my lair, death will not be optional, all right? It will be mandatory. Uh -huh. No tricks, no surprises, just you dying as a result of me killing you in a very, very gruesome way. Mm. So, but better offer here is just kill yourself. You know, that's a lot of effort, isn't it, walking all the way to my deadly lair? Where there's a perfectly serviceable death option right there. Uh -huh. Again, not a death trap, not a death trap. Your death would be entirely voluntary. And I very much appreciate it. Uh-huh. It does work, I should point out as well. I know we've had a couple of problems um, 
in the past. This smash definitely works, and it will kill you. Uh, uh -huh. concerns about not jumping in. Uh, the, the masher will kill you straight away, painless. Well, it won't be painless, obviously, but um, it, will, it will mash you up. In summary, walk all the way to certain doom or give up now, honorably, like a samurai. Run! Up, it's a win-win for you. Yes! Okay, take that as a no, then. What? I don't know, but it looks like we're above ground with how lit it is. Fam. Alright, I'm sorry. I apologize for that one. Oh, there's bombs in there. Ooh. No, I don't like the sound of that. I don't like the sound of bombs. Okay. Okay. Again, I don't like to put up 45 minutes recording time and stuff like that. I could be 5 minutes away from the end of the game. I could be 10 minutes away from the end of the game. I have no idea. Oh. So, I do like to play it safe for the most part and just... Just stop recording and make another episode because it's just easier that way. And no bombs. Go! Hello. Alright, here we go. What? Stupid. I realize you don't want to put me back in charge. Yeah. You think I'll betray you? Yep. And on any other day you'd be right. The scientists were always hanging cores on me to regulate my behavior. I've heard voices all my life. But now oh. I hear the voice of a conscience and it's terrifying. Because for the first time it's my voice. I'm being serious. I think there's something really wrong with me. Um I don't think having a conscience is a bad thing. I don't think it's a good thing that a robot has it, but... Definitely not a bad thing, GLaDOS. It's what we all humans have. Okay, alright. Loading. But again, I'm sorry if this is so choppy and weird! I just- I don't want an hour-long episode on the channel. I've had like a 50-minute episode. It doesn't do well, so... I- I may, I'm doing the best I can. Just- just keep that in mind. Alright, what's good? Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, God. What have I stumbled onto? Corrupted cores. We're in luck. You find a way to stun him, I'll send you a core. And what? Then you attach it to him. If we do it a few times, he might become corrupt enough for another core transfer. Is this the boss fight? Okay. You're gonna send me a core as a potato. I'm gonna put it on his bod. Put me in and I'll take you up. Okay, potato. I guess. Well, no. I don't like revenge. No, no. Well, well, well. To my land. Lauren, cut out that outro. Cut out that intro. Same episode. Back something up. According to the control panel light up there, the Sorry. entire building is going to self-destruct in about six minutes. I'm pretty sure it's a problem with the light. I think the light's on the blink, but just in case it isn't, I am actually going to have to kill you, um, as discussed earlier. So let's call that three minutes and then a minute break, but we should leave allegedly two minutes to figure out how to shut down whatever is starting all the fires. So anyway, okay. that's the itinerary. All right. Also, I took the liberty of watching the tapes of you killing her, and I'm not going to make the same mistakes. Four okay. Our plan is this. One, no portal services. Two, start the neurotoxin immediately. Three, bomb-proof shields for me. Needing direct build to number four, four, I'm throwing it in. You know what? This plan is so good, I'm gonna give you a sporting chance and okay. turn off the neurotoxin. If I'm you're joking, going to... Course, good luck. If you're gonna shoot bombs at me... ...in five minutes. Um... Ha! That's sounded real. No. That was actually an impression of you. Alright. Shoot another bomb at me. Let's see what happens. Like come on, come on! I wanted you to try. Ah! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Woo! Awesome! Uh, 
Okay, catwalk, catwalk. Space, space, I wanna go space. Please, please, space. Okay, come here, come here. Ah, oh, I got shot this way. Put it on, put it on him. No, 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 shit, 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 shit. Okay, go. How do I put you on you? Go. How do I get it on him? How do I? Oh, jump on, jump. Got it, got it. Core corruption at 50%. Vent system compromised. Neurotoxin offline. Fuck Reactor yes. Explosion in four uh, minutes. Wh what happened? Nothing, but what shoot happened? some more bombas at me, ya bozo. What you bombed to me? What is that? Nothing. Oh, oh Jesus. Uh, bloody bombs are stuck on. Doesn't matter. I've uh, reconfigured uh, the shield. Oh, it's a core you found me. Who told you to do that? Was it her? It's just making me stronger, love. It's a fool. Shit. Nerd. Shit. Ow. Yes. Another one? Another core? Okay, give me another one. Alright, what's next? Where is it? Okay. What's the situation? Oh, hey, how you pretty lady? Hey, Hi. Rick. So you out having yourself a little adventure? Yep. What, are you fighting that guy? You got that under control? You know, because <sighs> there's lots to get real messy. Go, Rick! Right. I believe in you, Core Rick. At 75%. Oh, this the is Rick going swimmingly. Timer. Destroy. Okay. Reactor explosion uncertainty emergency preemption protocol initiated. This Jesus. Just, uh, we're gonna blow up. We're gonna die. I told you not to put these cores on. But you know this to do. No. Okay. Okay. I need another one. I need another. Move. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Help. Ah, uh, Gaben. All you had to do was to solve a couple of hundred simple tests. Son of a- I hate this. Dang it. Go to space, Wheatley! It's beautiful! I'm sorry! You wanted to come off the rail! You were happy when you came off! Uh, is that my time? Okay, 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 okay. What? Go! Warning. Core corruption at 100%. Manual core replacement required. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, you <laughs> wanted to come off the rails. Are you ready to start? Corrupted core. Are you ready to start? What do you think? Interpreting vague answer as yes. No, 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 no. Didn't pick up on my sarcasm. Stalemate detected. Damn it, where's the button? Fire detected in the stalemate resolution annex. Extinguishing. Oh, that just cleans right off, does it? Well, that would have been good to know a little earlier. Stalemate resolution associate. Uh. Please press the stalemate resolution button. Go press the button. Go press do not press that button. Go press do not do it! I forbid you to press it! Press it! Press the button! Don't press that button! Press it! Don't press it! Come back! I have no. to! Do not press that button! Part five! Move ah. around the stalemate button! What? Are you still alive? You are joking! You have got to be kidding me! What? Well, I'm yeah. still in control, and I have no idea how to fix this place! No! Oh. I can't move. Yeah, well now we're all gonna pay the price because we're all gonna bloody die. What? The moon. I portaled the moon. What just happened? Oh my god, I portaled the moon! Oh my god, I portaled the moon! Connected. I can pull myself in. I can still fix this. I already fixed it. And you are not coming back. Oh no. Change your plans. Hold on to me. Tighter. Ah, Wheatley! Wheatley!
I was- I was fucking joking when I shot the moon! That was a joke! I thought he was gonna sink the entire place, I- It was just a goof! Hi! Oh, thank God, you're alright. You know, being Carolyn taught me a valuable lesson. You are Carolyn, aren't you? I thought you were my greatest enemy, but all along you were my best friend. The surge of emotion that shot through me when I, I don't like this. I don't like this. Me an even more you're not you're not being honest with where me. Carolyn lives in my brain. Carolyn, delete. Goodbye, Carolyn. You know, deleting no. Carolyn just now taught me a valuable lesson. After all of this, the best solution to a problem is usually the easiest one. And I'll be honest, killing you is hard. You know what my days used to be like? I just tested. Nobody murdered me, or put me in a potato, or potato. fed me to birds. I had a pretty good life. And then you showed up, you dangerous, mute, lunatic. So you know what? You win. Just go. <laughs> it's been fun. Don't come back. No, GLaDOS! Stop! I am not liking this. Oh my god, what? When you tried to kill me twice. Oh, how we laughed and laughed. Except I was laughing under the circumstances. I've been shockingly nice. You want your freedom to be paid. Ooh, hit those high notes, girl. Woo! Oh my god. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Fair enough. She was a lot like you. Maybe not quite as heavy. Now little Carolyn is in you too. Oh. One day they woke me up. So I could live forever. It's such a shame to say oh. will never happen to you. You got your shorts and... Yeah, I like it. Oh, you go. I'd pay for this in concert. Not really, but I'll 
Ooh, this is just like still alive. Oh. Did you think I meant you? No. would be funny if it weren't so sad. I feel sad. You have been replaced. I don't need anyone now. When I delete you, maybe I'll start feeling so bad. Is she talking about Carolyn right there? Ooh, Ellen McClain. Never heard that name. Atlas Peabody. What's that? Photo of Earth credit NASA. So much space. Need to see it all. <laughs> Really? I wish I could take it all back. I honestly do. I honestly do wish I could take it all back. And not just because I'm stranded in space. I'm in space. I know who you <laughs> are, mate. Yeah, we're both in space. space. Anyway, you know, if I was ever to see her again, do you know what I'd say? I'm in space. I'd say, I'm sorry. Sincerely. I am sorry I was bossy and monstrous. And... I am genuinely sorry. I'm in space. The end. Okay. Okay, that was Portal 2. This is our finale. So, uh, I'm gonna, before I get into anything else, I'm gonna say I did make a weird cut uh, because I did, I, I tried to end this episode and start a new one and then the new one only ended up being like eight minutes long so I'm gonna lump it back so the cut's gonna be weird. I'm just letting you know that's why it's there. Um, I don't have the minute mark because I don't know how long this episode's gonna be. It could be 45 minutes, it could be 30, I have no idea, I'm sorry, but this is the finale. So, with that out of the way, let's talk about this game. So. Let's go over the story as I usually do. Uh, obviously there's spoilers, but why are you here if you don't want spoilers? Anyways, Portal 2, you start off as the same character from the first Portal game as you were dragged back into the uh, facility by GLaDOS. And you just start testing and testing again with GLaDOS until you find Wheatley, who turns into your friend and then ultimately betrays you by taking over the facility, trapping you down here, trying to make you test again. GLaDOS gets put into a potato by Wheatley, you and Potato GLaDOS reunite, and you just go throughout the chambers to get to Wheatley, and then you learn along the way about Cape Johnson, the man who funded the place, you learn about Carolyn, you learn a lot more backstory than I thought was going to be, and then at the end you fight this crazy boss fight which is really cool that incorporates, it, it manages to incorporate all of the game mechanics into one fight which is pretty cool, so, well most of them, not, uh, not even half, it, it, you know what I mean. But you have this cool boss fight, and in the end, you fucking explode. I assume all my limbs are broken, and then you look at the moon, you shoot the moon, and suck Wheatley into space. I won't even talk about what would happen to the Earth if you somehow opened a portal to the moon on planet Earth. This would not have happened right. The Earth, a lot of stuff would have happened to it. I love space. I really do. So that... It's a game, I understand, but then you go into space and GLaDOS ends up letting you go and there's a really weird turret opera sequence that I, I just don't understand why it was there, but that was Portal 2 in a small condensed nutshell. So I have a couple things to say about this game as I always do. Um, one of them is of course the dialogue, the voice actors, absolutely fantastic. What am I doing? Let's start with the controls. Basic, just like the first portal, mouse, keyboard, easy, nothing too um, crazy, nothing, nothing crazy and whatnot. So anyways, story. I think the story is pretty gosh dang good. Initially when you start off the first portal game, you don't know what to expect. They introduce this mechanic of portals and it just starts to go from there. And I didn't think there was personally going to be much story to these games, but there really is. In the first portal, there isn't. You learn about GLaDOS. You learn that she killed people in the facility because she came, became out of control, but you don't learn 
about the facility itself, you don't learn about the people that were there before, and you don't learn much about what happened before everything went wrong. I think Valve saw that and then put it in Portal 2, and you learn a lot more about the facility, you learn a lot more about the experiments, you learn a lot more about the man who funded it, or started it, Cave Johnson, and I don't think she was his wife, but Caroline, his assistant, his secretary, whatever you call her. You learn about them, and... It really does go in deep. I don't think I found all of the secrets, but if you manage to look around and find secrets, you learn that Carolyn was put into a computer. Um, once the facility started to go down, a Cave Johnson was dying from a disease and they couldn't cure him fast enough, so they put Carolyn into a computer and she turned into GLaDOS. In the end, they couldn't control GLaDOS, so they started putting cores onto her and just destroying her and making this corrupt AI that she was. But once she was taken away from that, she became kind of Carolyn again. And I think that was a fantastic addition to the story of this game. I think it really did make it better. Wheatley was kind of thrown in there, but I think he did help aid it in a lot of ways. Because what I think the players liked from the first portal was GLaDOS. And I think they enjoyed how crazy and cruel she was, but Wheatley was easily my favorite character in the entire game because he was so witty. He had so much personality in just the way that he spoke, the inflections in his speech. Fantastic, very well done to the voice actor of Wheatley, but that is the story. I I'd give it a 10 out of 10. Fantastic. I enjoyed it immensely. Uh, with puzzle games, I do rate the puzzles. Puzzles were great. They were great. 10 out of 10 because the puzzles in Portal and Portal 2 for me, a puzzle isn't good if you can solve it immediately. I think the puzzle needs to have a moment during the puzzle where the player is genuinely stumped or the player has to kind of take away from the game, kind of sit there and really think about what they're doing in Portal. And Portal 2 do does do that. They do that. <laughs> And then you throw in all these mechanics, the gravity, the faith plates, the lasers, the light walls, all of that, and it's just a fantastic puzzle game. I really enjoyed the experience. The dialogue, it's, um, same engine, I believe. Same source engine for, from Half-Life and Portal 2, so it's a lot of the same sounds. That didn't bother me, but what does really make this game for me is the dialogue. The voice acting is phenomenal. I love it. Even in the little diaries that you find of Cave Johnson, absolutely phenomenal. I, I... I'm big on audio, and I think they did a very, very good job uh, with the voice acting in this game. I'm very, very impressed. It, it's, it is really something that everybody should probably play. And that I gotta say, that turret solo opera at the end, that, that's really what won it over for me. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like the entire experience was worth it from that. Graphics, same as Portal, but it, it seemed a little bit more polished. There were actually some cutscenes, like this is kind of a cutscene right here. Like something that they they rendered out and made a, a, a little cutscene, which is nice. I think Portal had one at the end. I can't remember, it's been a couple months since I played it, but this game definitely had a couple more than that, um, where you weren't in control, you were watching it kind of widescreen, and it was just the game was just, just really playing out in front of you, but um, I think the graphics still look pretty dang good. It's it's a simple game and it only needs simple graphics and they did it fantastically. Overall, I have to say Portal 2, the first Portal, these are both games that I think need to be played. I said it at the end of Portal, it's an amazing little thing that they have here. It's something that definitely, when it came out, broke the uh, gaming scene, if you'll call it that. I definitely feel I didn't I wasn't into gaming as much as I am now when these games came out, but I feel like this is a game that definitely broke and blew a lot of people's minds because it threw a new mechanic at the game, the portals. But what Valve did that they did incredibly well and they did right was they didn't just use the portals. They, they used them as the base, but they threw in so many other mechanics. They threw in the faith plate, they threw in the gravity, they threw in the, the turrets, the lasers, the light walls. <coughs> They threw in all these- the gels! The gels were fantastic! They threw in all these different mechanics that made it so much more and kept the player with a lot of different things they had to keep into mind and just a lot of different things they could have done with the puzzles and I think that was very, very smart. Did they leave this game open to another one? I am not sure. I don't feel like they did. Those two little robots at the end, um, they were mentioned and it said, she said that she kind of found those robots or made them 
so that they could take over for the human testing. So maybe if, if my guess is if they make a third portal, which Valve is not well known for making their, their thirds, <laughs> but if they make another one, I'm guessing it'll be from those robots eyes. I don't know if they will, but I, I wish they do it. It's, it's absolutely fantastic game. And I gotta say, Valve is always very great about their endings. That was fantastic with the robot solo uh, and the the, com the the companion cube, the charred up companion cube from the first portal, uh, flipping up out of the outhouse or whatever it was, the electrical shed. Uh, well, that was good. Fantastic. So I am very happy with this game. I'm very happy with the way we finished it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, I'm so sorry if this episode ends up being like 50 minutes long. I have no idea of knowing how long it is, and I will try to cut it down. But hey, it's the finale. Let's just put it on in the background and do something else. So, thank you guys so much for watching this series. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Portal and Portal 2, the Portal series, has jumped quickly up to one of my favorite games on my list of games. Fantastic game. I would say... If you're considering buying this game, do it absolutely 100% buy this game. Tell your friends about this game. Everyone probably knows about it now. I missed the mark by like five years. I'm not entirely sure, but fantastic game. 10 out of 10. Would play again. Would recommend. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I believe I said my piece. I will leave you guys with that. This is the finale. We'll start off with a fresh brand new series on Monday next week. So... Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave me a like or a comment down below the video. And if you liked me, please subscribe today for some more content in the future. Check out the links in the description to Valve, the Portal 2 main website, and the Portal 2 Steam store page where you can buy this game. Quick little aside, I'm going to cut this in before the outro and it's going to look really weird and bad. But I did hear that there are kind of um, extras to Portal 2. I believe they are here. Um, no, 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 not the comics, but I, I believe there is DLC, which is, I think it's called Mel, Project Mel, I think it's a, an add-on to Portal, uh, I'm not entirely sure what it is, but if you want to see that, please let me know down in the comments below and whatnots like that, so, uh, roll, th roll the outro, Lauren. Ooh. As always, have a fantastic day and or night out there wherever you are, ladies and gentlemen, and please stay safe. Much love to your faces. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Ah! Ah! That was not what I wanted to do.